It's been a while since I've really touched DWL. You can see that, yeah, it's basically been almost a year since I pushed my last few patches to it. And I think I kind of want to look at the different changes that have happened with the different patches that I've basically worked to apply. And I pro I really want to take another look at it again and try it again. I just haven't taken the time to do so. Because Rivers worked pretty well for me for the last little bit. I mean, it still has its issues, but it still works pretty well for everything that I've been doing with it. <clears throat> so if I go to DWL in here, we've had a, an update to it since two weeks ago. So if we look at the commits over the last little bit, um, let's see, we have tell X, Y, and clients they're main maximized, fix the use after free. There were a few, I think, that have been updated since. Branches. Got push, 07. Three months ago. So, like, we've had version 0.7 come out since show me the details add support for alpha modifier protocol DWL will now survive GPU resets which is actually really nice let's see 0 0.6 that was four months ago what I think I dropped off at like 0 0.5 but yeah Add a root color to change default background color. Implement WLR virtual pointer unstable protocol. Pointer constraints and relative pointer protocols and so on. So like this negates like the patches that I was using for those pointer constraints and so on for the most part. Um, which is actually pretty nice. And then there was a dot desktop one that was added I think somewhere in there. So it eliminates that patch that I was using. Keyboards are now managed through keyboard groups. Only the first match key binding is executed. Toggling layout. Full screen clients. Menu change from BE menu to W menu. Let's see. No, the zero oh, non block flag is set for standard out. Fixed. Clients not having correct order to color when mapping. XDG decoration unstable. DWL no longer sends negative values. Crashes with disabled monitors. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I'm going to have to run it, run through, and probably update things. So, what that means is if we go back to DWL, I haven't looked at the patches too much over the last few months either because I've been very, very busy. Last semi-stable release. Let's see, where is it? Configuration, DWL patches. This is the other important one that I look at is like, what patches do I want to enable in my thing? Do we have a good wiki? Let's see, update instructions on DWL patches. So yeah, la updated global key last week. Let's see, go to the wiki here for DWL. So we've got the status bars. I believe, uh, yeah, I've been using Waybar for it. it. Requires DWL's IPC patch, which is not a problem. Patching, contributing. Let's see. Stale patches are back in there. So let's see. We've got uh, access, the nth monitor, always center, attach bottom, attach top, auto start, which is one that I've used. So it's rebased on the 0.7. Bar sys tray, bar order, bar colors, bar height, bar padding, bottom stack, borders, C fact, chain keys. So 
So it's either chain keys or key codes. Probably chain keys then. Let's go look at chain keys. Implements chain key bindings like DWM keychain patch. Bindings can share a leading keychain. This keychain will be triggered when mod chain is pressed. A subsequent key press will be matched against bindings for that. It's kind of similar to what I have running with River in that I'm changing modes. So if I were to go like Super B, you can see my browser mode enables. And then I can hit a secondary key like super and i can run fire dragon and i've got a couple that are like that so i've got super g so i've got a file manager and that's kind of what i was emulating from oh S sxhkd because i liked the keychains that much and i believe i ended up using it in dwm for a little bit when i had configured one like that as well <clears throat> Let's see, dim unfocused deck, I believe this one, yeah, something like that. Let's see, custom float, gestures, gaps, 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 gaps. Yeah, so the IPC patch is a really big one and is very important for a lot of the things that I like to do with my stuff. But anyway, Let's see, that is... KB layout, key codes, less simple touch input, modes, move stack. <clears throat> Next layout, that's another one I think I was interested in for a bit. Per tag layout, which is a really nice thing to have. Pointer gestures, unstable. See, there's no pointer constraints anymore because that got implemented in and yeah isn't really needed anymore relative mouse resize Let's see regions regex rules which is really cool for certain windows so like for example for emulators when i run emulators it's really nice to have a uh, r some rules set up that will make certain windows floating so that they don't like resize all over the place and get super stretched and deformed and I use that in other cases for capturing individual windows for emulators whenever I stream them. Let's see, scene effects, rotate tags. See, this is the flashy stuff, isn't it? If you're using Nix with flakes, blur doesn't work on windows. Let's see, yeah, adds blur, opacity, and things like that. Show and shadows. Setup env, scroll factor, single tag set, smart borders. Uh, da, da, da. Shift view, swallow is a really nice patch. Sticky, swap and focus, switch to tag, tab. Adds tabs or a title bar to the top or bottom of windows. So this is... The tabs one is one that, like, Awesome has that, yeah, was it? No, it was i3 has it, and I think Sway implements it as well. And it's basically, like, you get the monocle window view, but you got, like, the title bar is a bunch of tabs for the different windows in that workspace. But, yeah. See, tearing implementation, title urgent, toggle constraints, and then toggle KB layout, unclutter, vanity gaps is the one that I really like. So, yeah, virtual pointer, warp cursor, wind view, zoom skate, swap. Let's see, zoom swap. What does swap patch swaps current window with the previous master when zooming? Interesting. Okay, cool. I like that. Um, simple borders. Yeah, so a few less to worry about. You don't have the desktop shortcut that you have to think about anymore. You can implement that directly in. And what if I can go back to... Ma, ma, na, 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 na. 
Let's see what the desktop has. DWL.desktop. <clears throat> so it just runs DWL. And in a patch that I would do for mine is I the DWL.desktop would have the Dbus run session DWL so that it would run with Dbus in the background because that's how Pipewire works in making OBS work is by having Dbus in the background able to connect everything together. So it's really nice to be able to record the screen or when you are streaming or making a video like this. But yeah. Kind of a few different changes that are pretty nice. Let's see. State the Discord server's community maintained. Count <clears throat> border width in that. Config.f.h. Let's... I don't think very much... Doesn't look like very much has changed here. So... A may come time to go through and do things again. Let's see, drag and lock, natural scrolling, while, disable while typing, left-handed. KB rules, monitor rule, layouts, <coughs> rules, window rules, tag count, sloppy focus. I do kind of like my sloppy focus, so I'm not going to lie. Border pixels. I would probably up it to two border pixels, like I have here with River. Uh, you can see that if I mouse off of it, the border does like just turn to a darker gray. <clears throat> Might have to change that a bit. I don't know. I've been pretty happy with it for the last year, so I don't know. I'm not perpetually ricing my desktop like a lot of people. I will add wallpapers into my Wallpaper stuff with WPaperD, but other than that, it's like pretty simple. And yeah, some of the keybinds would definitely change. And with keychains, it would be totally different by a lot. But yeah, foot, W menu run, I, yeah. Wow. Anyway, yeah, DWL, a lot of changes. Probably going to have to go back in and take a peek and try it out again. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one.